Hello everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Kidney J. The J stands for jerk because my kidneys are a pair of jerks. And listen, I dropped the ball on this one. I'm late, but I felt I did have to address it um, just to clear up any misconceptions, any uh, misinformation that Booty Booty is giving out. So let me just sum it up quickly for you. This was from a few nights ago. It was a six hour long, long live stream. I finally found the part uh, that I wanted. And it is basically Booty Booty um, debunking any lies, quote unquote lies. So um, let's just get into it and I will talk more. Long list. Let's hear some things then. Name one. iPad, of course, that always comes up. So she did lie about giving Natter a two thousand dollar iPad, but in her mind, it is, I guess, not big enough of a lie to count as a lie. So she's rolling her eyes. Whatever. That's not the part I want to get to, but here we go. No, I didn't drive high. Coke buzz last 15 minutes. I wasn't high. Okay. So yes, she has driven high. We have seen her um, vape. The vape was in her cup holder in her car. She had some and obviously she drove right after that. But what this uh, person was talking about was um, doing the cola and then driving. She recorded a live stream singing Madonna's Cherish um, and she's saying because the buzz only lasts 15 minutes she was not driving high. Um, well it is illegal to drive with specific uh, levels of certain drugs in your system and my guess is if she was pulled over and was given a sobriety test she might not pass and you know that's why these laws are put in place we are not our best barometer of what is safe to drive not safe to drive when you're impaired that's why it's called impairment that's not a lie lie about curing your diabetes no I didn't google it right now you can read okay so I wanted to get into this because she said so many times that she has cured her diabetes now she gets into it and tells us the reasons why first she tells us to google it because you can reverse so reversing is not curing so I did I googled it of course although there is no cure Booty booty. There is no cure for type 2 diabetes. S studies show it is possible to reverse it. Through diet changes and weight loss, you may be able to reach and hold normal blood sugar le levels without medication. This doesn't mean you're completely cured. Type 2 diabetes is an ongoing disease. Again, I'll repeat that. Type 2 diabetes is an ongoing disease disease. That means you don't go to your doctor once a year and not follow up, not get an A1C, which is an average blood sugar over three months. You don't, um, you know, skip out and not be educated about your diabetes and see a diabetes educator or a diabetes dietitian. <clears throat> Let's just hear what she has to say. You can reverse type 2 diabetes. That's diet related. And my blood sugars are normal. And I don't have to be on Ozempic. Next. Okay. Your blood sugars, random glucose tests that she's been taking, I don't know, once every three weeks, have been lower than what they have been before. Before she used to be 16, um, 15, 17, which are, of course, high. What she doesn't realize is the damage she may have done with those higher glucose uh, numbers. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Think of high glucose like little tiny shards of glass in your blood. 
just going everywhere your blood circulates and just ripping and causing damage to the small blood vessels in the eyes, to the blood vessels in the kidneys, to um, blood vessels in your extremities, like your toes, your feet, your fingers, um, all sorts of stuff. Now, that blurb I read said with proper nutrition and exercise, you can't reverse it. We've seen how this, this lady eats. Um, we see she doesn't exercise. I will give her the benefit of doubt and say she's not lying here, but she is extremely, extremely uninformed. And the reason why I make this video is to inform you guys. So please, if you're diagnosed with diabetes, prediabetes, don't just think you could go on the foodie beauty diet and everything will be fine and dandy. She refuses to follow up with her doctor. Um, as far as the Ozempic goes, um, I think she wasn't getting her prescriptions renewed. I think she wasn't getting follow up with blood work. So her doctor stopped the Ozempic because of that. Um, that's it for me, guys. Sorry, I had to address this. Leave a comment down below. Um, leave a like and subscribe if you're new. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.